Hi everybody, it's Lauren. Welcome back to Bon Voyage Scents. Today we're going to be cutting some of the loaves that I showed you in my last video. Um, they're both VCS loaves. This one is the California Dream and Bluebird Cafe and we'll always have Paris loaf. This one is from the July restock. And this one is the um, Wherefore Art Thou Romeo and Grinch Overpour. It doesn't say on there, but that's it's the, um, from the first month of the deluxe flower box loaves that she offered. And I believe that was August. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut parts of both of these. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So first, Kirby from VCS sends um, bakery bags for you to put your cut up pieces of loaves in. This one doesn't have a sticker, but this is from the California Dreamin' one. And this one is from the Deluxe one. Um, and see, this one has the label on it. And like I showed you last time, it got a little ripped in the mail. But that's okay. So I have decided that I'm going to cut them on... This is a flattened, um, you know, priority box that I got in the mail. I received some packages in, or a package in, and I just cut all the tape and flattened it out. And I'm going to use this as my cutting board because then you don't have to get wax all over one of your own cutting boards or your table or your counter or wherever you're cutting. And then when you're done, you don't even have to really clean up. You just throw the box away with all the little crumbles on it. Okay, so, and then I also have... Some of the smaller bags that I'm going to rebag some for, um, probably for maybe someone who wants one. My best friend and boyfriend are getting into wax because of me. So see where my thumb is. Maybe it's this is the polypropylene, and that's what you need to bag wax in. Um, because anything else, the scent will be sucked out of the bag, and then it'll be gone from the wax. Okay, so we're going to start with the smaller loaf first. So I have. Oops, dropping things. I have my cutters over here. That this one, I just got a new one because I couldn't find my other straight cutter, and this one still has a sticker on it. But I kind of wanted to use this one. Um, so I have my crinkle cutter from my soap making, and also my dough cutter which is the straight edge. So you can order either one of these on Amazon or, you know, any, a ton of companies. You can buy them at Michael's. I suggest you use your 40% off coupon because otherwise they're like $10. You can get them for much cheaper. So that is the um, dough cutter, the straight edge. And then this one is the crinkle cutter. Um, the only thing is if you use it for something else, just make sure you wash it thoroughly because you don't want your things to mix. Um, once you soap and water, I think I'm going to crinkle cut mine today, so, get this one out, I'm going to have my bag ready over here, okay, this one smells so good, this is very fruity, and you can see this flower and that flower, I think, this is this one, um, the blue one is the California Dreamin', and then I'm pretty sure the pink one is the Bluebird Cafe. I could be wrong, but I've only seen that one be pink. Um, and then the Will Always Have Paris is the Overpour. So just pop it out, and then it's also blue underneath. The, her loaves are so pretty. Okay. This smells so good. So I'm just going to cut, like, little pieces. I'll cut one off of the end first. A good size chunk, I guess. Is that good? Maybe. Yeah, see, it's not going to cut like soap. It's going to crumble a little. Yeah, so, and then I'll just stick the crumbles in the bag, but that's kind of where we came off. Maybe if I cut it a little bit thicker, it wouldn't have done that, but it's also just the end of the loaf. So, I'm just going to take my bag, open it up. Go ahead, pop them in there, and then I can just get a piece whenever I want. Maybe I'll try to cut a little straighter. 
It's hard when you hit the flower. I can't imagine trying to cut this with a knife. See, you got the whole rose. There it is. And then I can just break it off whenever I want to put something in there. And I'll probably just cut about half. I'll put them in the little bags later. Um, let me see if I can make this. I'm having trouble making it straight. I just see this going. Oh well. There we go. And it's not perfect. Her wax is kind of soft, but not super soft. Um, you can also cut your jumbo roses like this. I usually cut mine into quarters. Okay. This smells so good. I'm going to put this back in there. And then I can stick this back in the bag. So that that one stays fresh. And this, obviously the bags that she sends are the correct kind of bag. And then the bakery bags are lined with the correct kind of plastic as well. And that's what we got. It's about half the loaf. And I will label that one with a Sharpie since... didn't come labeled on the bag. And there we have it. Okay, so let's do the big one. So yeah, I bet these are fun to pour. They're kind of like pouring a loaf of soap, just a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is the one I showed you last time, where you can kind of see the roses of the Wherefore Author Romeo. There it is, and there's kind of purple. And then the green and the red are the Grinch. Overpour. Okay. Yeah, that one even crumbled before I got all the way down. But that's what it looks like. See this part? The red just comes right off. So maybe you won't get all of the scent when you melt it. You'd have to break off pieces that have a little bit of everything. But this one smells really good. They're both fruity, relatively fruity um, loaves. I like the other one because I love the will always have pear scent. But this one, this one smells like Hawaiian punch to me. And then when I just go, I'll just put about that much in my warmer. It doesn't take very much of her wax, which is really nice, and if you've tried BCS, you know that it, it'll last a long time. Um, I usually leave mine in there for about a day, but you could leave it in there longer, depending on whether you turn your warmer off or not, but I don't turn mine off, and, or any of them, I don't turn them off, and then, oh, look at this one, you can definitely see, like, part of the, the rose pattern, even though I cut into it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't turn them off and then I just kind of switch them out at some point during the day because I always want to smell a new scent, but I know there's some people who can make it last longer. Ooh, that almost looks like a piece of soap. Let's go ahead and cut that one in half. Yeah, I don't even think you could fit a whole, maybe you could fit a whole loaf in this particular um, bakery bag. Like, you'd have to put this part away and then come back after you've melted some, because let that float up. It would be really full if you did. So then I would just bag this one up, too. And then I'll pop this back in there. Put it back in the bag. And now I'll have to wash this pretty well again. Um, and then I can just take this and hopefully it doesn't spill at all. That's 
it. And then we've got our two bags. And we can keep the rest for later or maybe swap some or de-stash some. And that's what we have left of our loaves. Okay, so I will see you all next time. Um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like the video, um, and go ahead and check out the video about the giveaway that's open right now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!